Ladies and gentlemen, I have some breaking news here. United States places up to 8,500 troops on alert for possible deployment amid Russian tensions. Up to 8,500 U.S. troops have been put on heightened alert to deploy as Russian troops mass on Ukraine's border, Pentagon spokesman John Kirby said Monday. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin issued the prepare to deploy orders at the direction of President Joe Biden. Kirby said no final decision to deploy the troops has been made. Earlier on Monday, it was reported the Biden administration was in the final stages of identifying specific military units it wants to send to Eastern Europe, according to multiple U.S. and defense officials. Biden discussed options for bolstering U.S. troop levels in the Baltics and Eastern Europe with his top military officials during a briefing at Camp David on Saturday, according to a senior official. The news comes amid U.S. warnings that a potential Russian invasion of Ukraine could be imminent. The State Department on Sunday reduced staffing at the U.S. Embassy in Kiev, Ukraine, with the departure of non-essential staff and family members out of an abundance of caution. Biden will hold a secure video call with European leaders on Monday afternoon, which the White House said was part of the administration's consultation and coordination with European allies in response to Russia's military buildup. The goal of sending military reinforcements to Eastern Europe would be to provide deterrence to reassure allies, and there has been no suggestions U.S. troops would deploy to Ukraine or take part in any combat roles. The U.S. sent two weapon shipments to Ukraine over the past week as a part of recently directed security assistance to help bolster Ukraine's military. NATO countries are also sending additional ships and fighter jets to Eastern Europe and putting forces on standby. NATO Secretary General Enns Stolenberg said on a statement Monday, NATO will continue to take all necessary measures to protect and defend all allies, including by reinforcing the eastern part of the alliance, Stoltenberg said. The Ukrainian Defense Ministry latest intelligence assessment found that Russia has now deployed more than 127,000 troops in the region, while the U.S. said Russia is in a position to launch an invasion at any time. U.S. officials still don't know what Russian President Vladimir Putin plans to do or if he has decided to invade Ukraine. But some officials who have said the intelligence said there's evidence Russia is planning to try to take Kiev and overthrow the government, as was reportedly previously reported. The U.K. Foreign Office said in a statement on Saturday that it is at that it has information the Russian government is planning to install a pro-Russian leader in Kiev and considers whether to invade and occupy Ukraine. Moscow denies it's it's, it's planning to invade, accusing the U.S. and NATO of escalating tensions over their support for Ukraine. The Kremlin on Monday dismissed the reports about plans to install a pro-Russian leader in Ukraine as, quote, hysteria. Tensions are escalating due to concrete actions taken by the U.S. and NATO, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said. I mean, the informational hysteria that we are witnessing, it is generously framed by a huge amount of false information, just lies and fakes. State Department officials told reporters Sunday that the decision to reduce staffing at the embassy was not due to any change in threat levels to U.S. personnel in the country. The officials said the move to reduce embassy personnel and urge Americans in the country to leave was in part because the State Department assistance would be severely impacted if there is Russian military action in Ukraine. In addition to the U.S. reducing staffing at its embassy in Kiev, the U.K. Foreign Office also announced Monday that some British embassy staff and dependents were being withdrawn in response to growing threats from Russia. The U.S. is continuing to engage diplomatically with Russia, but recent talks have failed to bring about any breakthroughs. Russia has said that the U.S. and NATO must commit to never admitting Ukraine into NATO and pull back military employments 
from Eastern Europe countries, which includes Romania and Bulgaria. The U.S. has said repeatedly these demands are a non-starter. Though Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said last week the U.S. will respond in writing to Moscow's demands following his meeting with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. Again, this is breaking news. The U.S. has placed up to 8,500 troops on alert for possible deployment against Russian tensions. Please stay tuned to this channel. Please like, share, and subscribe, and comment. And I will see you on the next video. Shalom.